Well, this looks like the place. Hello, lover. Oh great, this goofball again. The things I do to make a living. Oh well, may as well get this over with. Okay, time to punch a bunch of dogs. Haha, ha, take that, Fado. Hi am. Chihuahuas with ninja weapons? Bring it on. Sorcerer, that dog has been stalking our party for hours, now. We can't keep avoiding it forever. She's right, that dog needs to go, we should attack. No need, I have a solution. Quick, everyone into the water. Illusory Meadow. Who's there? Who? What are you? A cow or an owl? Hey hey, what do you call an allegorical vision of a cow's afterlife? The bovine comedy. Or, you mad? Don't have a cow. Hello, we'd like to sign up for the rabbit's only carrot cake eating contest. Hum. You're awfully big for a couple of rabbits, you sure you're not just dogs wearing bunny ears? Positive. Okay, good. Lately, dogs have been sneaking in and ruining the contest. It's not fair since they're larger and eat more than rabbits ever could. They win every time. Anyway, your table is over there, good luck. He <laughs> he. Oh, for the love of, what's she doing here? Um, I'm a rabbit? Duh. That's no fair, Millie, you're like twice our size. Yeah, go find your own contest to crash. He, <laughs> no way. On your mark. Get set. Bon appetit, gentlemen. Get ready to lose. Go. Now that you fish are on our side, you'll be doing your part in the war against the cats. For this next operation, you'll need a disguise. As you can see, we've recently developed a new technology. A belt that turns the wearer into a feline. Sweet. Unfortunately, we've only been able to make it work on fish. Why fish? No idea, oddly convenient now, though. Anyway, that other fishy friend of yours is already in training. How is she acclimating to the belt, Dodson? Admittedly, not too good, sir. She isn't quite used to being outside of her fishbow yet. You know what you're supposed to be doing, then? Yep, sure do. Ah, something puppy related, right? You re-puppy sitting. Ever puppy sit before? Um, I dunno. Maybe, is that even legal? Haha. Ha. Okay, I can't say your response inspires much confidence, but I'll go ahead and proceed with cautious optimism. So that's it. Am I right in trusting you not to misinterpret your duty horribly? Uck, yes. I'm not stupid. Welp. Time to get down to business. Hurry, master. You must transport me to the seaside at once. Aquatic fun times await. I'm not taking you to the beach. What? Why not? Because last time you killed two seagulls and ate one of them. Those gulls were asking for it. Regardless, I refuse to have the blood of any more innocent seabirds on my hands. You cannot keep me from having fun, you despotic she-beast. I'll find an even better ocean to play in. And fun hating tyrants, like you aren't invited. Oh, Dr. Dearson. I'm so glad I found you. I need urgent medical assistance. I've told you already, Otter. I'm a history professor, not a physician. Please doctor. It's an emergency. What's going on, mom? You see, I've got this weird itchy rash on my belly. Can you take a look at it? I think it might be serious. I mean, it looks like you just crawled through poison ivy or something. But like I said, I'm really not qualified to diagnose. 
Give it to me straight. Doctor. Is it necrotizing fasciitis? What? It's eating my flesh, isn't it? Ah, uh, I don't. I'm sure that it is. Just look at it closer. You're a hypochondriac, otter. Look at it. So according to recent market research, our projected cereal sales are, unfortunately kind of terrible. To remedy this, I propose we go straight for the real problem. You, the mascot, you are clearly not charismatic enough. Uh, okay. What do you suggest? Well, why don't you just take a look here and tell me what you see. What do all of these popular cereal mascots have in common? They're all blithe white males between the ages of 20 and 65. Hats, my friend. They're all wearing hats. With all due respect, I don't think the mascot is the problem. I think the cereal is just... Ha. Ah, nonsense. Just trust me. You are going to sell so much cereal 